Bear River High School's football team traveled to Brigham City to take on the Box Elder Bees on Friday, September 2nd. This is the longest uninterrupted rivalry in the state of Utah, with the Bees winning over 60% of the games. The Bees were 2-0 and averaging over 40 points per game, while the Bears were 1-1. There was a festive atmosphere before the game this year, as former Bear River Bear and current KSL Channel 5 anchor Rod Zundel brought his game day crew to Brigham City. The Bees are well known for their vaunted option attack, but the Bears were up for the challenge early on. Key hits early on by Kyle Zundel, Bracken Smith, Wes Fakui, and Taylor Day keyed the Bear River defense. The Bees were able to move the ball, but missed this short field goal with 11.20 to go in the second quarter. The Bears turned to senior Wes Fakui, who rushed 12 times for 50 yards. However, the Bears weren't able to get anything going on offense, and both teams traded possessions. The B defense stiffened, and with 2.10 to go, Box Elders Britton Gunter scored on this TD run. The Bees went into half ahead 8-0, and the Bears had to feel good about how their defense had played. The Bear River defense held the Bee offense in check until a minute and 15 left in the third quarter when the Bees scored on another touchdown run. Senior Taylor Day talked about the Bears' effort after the game. First half, I thought it was a great game. You know, we, we hung with them, it was 8-0. It was a very physical game, we, we stood with them. The second half, they just wanted it more. You always just want to knock the guy next to you, hit him harder than he's going to hit you. And that, that's how it always is, you know, just hard-nosed football. The Bees took a 23-0 lead on this pass from Gunter to Taylor Wilding with 10-12 to go in the fourth quarter. The Bears came storming back on their next possession. Bubba Miller connected with Lane Miller twice, and Wes Fukui got the option going again. But the big play came on this 56-yard bomb from Bubba Miller to Hazen Wood with 5.07 to go in the game. But the Bears found it was too little too late as the Bees held on for a 23-6 Golden Spike win. During the game, you know, there's a lot of hostility, you know, the guy, you don't want the guy to beat you, you want to beat the other guy, and after the game, you, you know, you, you just shake hands and tell the other guy good game. Well, we knew that we had our hands uh, full trying to uh, go up against their wear down offense. That's, that's what that double wing's designed to do, is to win the second half. I was very proud of the way our defense held up. You know, there's there's no accounting for numbers. The, our kids, as hard as they play, eventually are going to wear down no matter what kind of shape they were in. I thought that uh, even when they were tired, they gave a valiant effort and uh, did the best that they could. And I, I was proud of them for that. We left a lot of points on the field. I mean, we had you know, some drop passes that we should have had that could have come away with. Uh, with uh, scores, we had a penalty that negated a, a, a 50 yard pass, or you can't do that stuff. Nobody hung, hung their head, nobody quit. Uh, we've got stick to it on this team, and that goes a long way down the stretch. The Bears are right back in it Friday as they travel to Tooele County to take on Stansbury. What do you, what you think uh, you might do next week? What we're going to most likely see, we, we do see a coordinator that we faced before in Kevin Butler that was the head coach at uh, Grantsville. Um, we do know that they're a tri tri triple option team. Well, we just got to stick it to them, I guess. Play harder. The Bears hope to get their offense and defense back on track against Stansbury. Box Elder recorded 346 yards of total offense compared to 204 for Bear River. Reporting for the Tremont and Leader, a multimedia company, this is Greg Madsen.